Ixi, Ixtoixichiko, if that makes any sense. <laughs> to me, it sounds kind of funny, you know. My usual greetings in Blackfoot on this channel, I say, Itamixichiko, like, good day, or uh, happy day, or I might say, yeah, Itam exists to go would be more like happy day. Or I, I would say, uh, Asikskanatani, you know, pleasant morning. Or Itamikskanatani, you know, happy morning. But um, to say it's a cold day, Ikstu exists to go, is literally in Blackfoot saying it's a cold heat. Because <laughs> exists to go is, is heat, you know. Um, more than it is that like literally it's talking about heat and that's what's used metaphorically to extend to conceptualize the day it's the heat I mean it's not even metaphorically it's real it's the heat of the of our of our round hey eh? we got a day we got a night we got a summer we got a winter and here we definitely got a winter now it is what moon day December 27th 2021 in the last quarter of the lunar cycle Misami Goko Miyatobus the long night's moon and I'm just on my way home from taking a, a couple of hours um, spin around I went down the wilderness park road all the way actually went and to visit the river um, early on but it's freaking cold 30 degrees below now it's minus 24 you know, when you're 30 below, you're getting close to, and that's Celsius, you're getting close to 30 below Fahrenheit because I think the two match or meet at um, 40 below. Anyway, yeah, I went down to the river, right cold, and then I went to the pond, which I knew was going to be just quiet, and it was. Hey, it looked like some people had set up and maybe played, started some hockey playing there. Uh, you know, over the last couple of days, it's been quite cold, 25 degrees below, you know, 20 below pretty consistently. Um, it's getting on now, it's almost noon, and we're at 24 below, so I don't expect to get much above minus 20. Cold, cold. Um, I didn't see much going on with the animals this morning, even on the Wilderness Park Road. Me and Britt have been seeing some activity there among the uh, ringneck pheasants. We saw one day, like, more female ringneck pheasants in one group than I'd ever seen. They were kind of like going up a, a coolie draw. Um, and uh, <laughs> there's probably, what, I would say at least 15 to 20 maybe even more female pheasants all together going up that draw. Like, I'd, I'd never seen something like that. You just see below the, the you know, in the brambles of the, of the brush in the draw, you just see the little bodies shooting up, you know. Um, male pheasants are pretty abundant too, but not, you know, I haven't seen them bunched up in groups like that. I have seen them in groups, even of four or five, um, maybe six, but that female group was the really the largest group of pheasants I've ever seen together in one, one spot, and I don't really know what was going on there. Uh, noticed a rabbit on the road this morning. He was checking out the, um, I think, some of that same sage that I saw during the bird count that the mice had been eating you know, the, the leftover seed heads from the sage. So it could be, I didn't actually get out and look. I should have, but he was working that sage plant for sure. And he didn't want to get off the road. I'd seen him on my way down the road and I'd seen him on my way back up. At the river, there was a lot of golden eyes. Probably, I would say, when I arrived anywhere, maybe even a hundred golden eyes on the river there, but I would say at, at least 50. You know, in different groups that they just took off uh, both up and downstream when I arrived. 
and I couldn't see very much. I heard some mallards as well, but everything was so, you know, covered in the, in the uh, mist and stuff coming off of the river. Now this is interesting. I just pulled up at my house. This is the second day in a row here that I have seen indication of a mouse at my house. Check that out. I don't know if I'm parking like a retard. I'm probably up on the sidewalk. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. I never shoveled. Look at this. See these tracks here? It's a deer mouse or a jumping mouse. Coming in under here. Boom. Might be getting in possibly getting in the walls more likely just hanging out underneath these underneath these uh, concrete pads so I'm hoping I just want to make sure he's not I seen just the other morning mouse tracks kind of underneath my truck and I was worried that I had one living in my truck so this is not so bad um, anyway Don't know what's all in store for today. I just took the truck for a spin just to kind of get it all warmed up and everything. Um, given the temperatures and stuff, I'll probably go for another spin a little bit later with Brit. But right now I got some coffee fixings that I purchased. I'm going to bring those inside, make us some coffee, maybe have some breakfast. Um, Brit should just be maybe waking up. And we'll do some art. We've been doing some resin stuff. I'll probably show you some of that. It's getting there. We're gonna make us some coffee with a bit of Bailey's caramel. Here's some of the resin work that we were playing with yesterday. Brit's making this jar. This is still gonna be the bottom of the jar. It's a little heart embedded in there, and then some beads embedded in the lid that say, Fuck man, buddy, fuck. Familiar to everybody that follows, you know, native TikTok and such. And then we got Skoden and Studis uh, as two sides of a grinder that she's making. A little bit of stuff in a pyramid that we'll just fill with excess resin with whatever we're doing. She made some, filled some butterfly uh, pieces for necklace making. Some little odd jewel pieces. These are dice that I'm making. And I think I messed them up. In fact, I know I messed up this small one. I, I bought off Amazon a little kit of resin dice molds and I'm trying them out all kinds of little dice but yeah I messed up the lid right so I'm gonna have to sand that down and see if it's even at all uh, salvageable and I figure I messed up the lids on these other two experiments as well this was just some leftover resin that I put in these from this which is my real project I was working on a couple of weeks ago well I decided to put this scorpion I got this scorpion maybe a year ago um, and it's dead of course and I put it in the freezer and I wanted to do something like this a box with the scorpion in it or something with the scorpions in relief on a table or in a box or something so I put it in this box and uh, a couple of weeks back I put just a very thin les resin layer on the bottom with a couple of drips of uh, silver um, acid paint. Whoops. Pour this real quick. So and then I just let that harden and waited for the opportunity uh, to pour more resin, you know, when I had resin and time and shit like that to do it. So yesterday was the day, so I poured a clear layer in there, like 
and uh, I started very thin and then laid the scorpion in there and poured more around him and tried to make as few bubbles as possible and I think it turned out pretty good although there are a couple little exposures where the scorpion kind of was lifting up uh, it was hard to keep it from floating and so um, I'll have to go back maybe today and put another very thin layer on top to cover that up and then yeah got scorpion in relief in a nice little box that I'll probably sell at some undetermined prices yet um, we'll see anyway maybe I'll show you these when they're all set up and cracked out but uh, of their molds and we'll see what we do with the cricket later on by cricket I meant this uh, cricket machine we bought this little machine for the studio that I'm gonna try out here over the next week uh, me and Britt are gonna play with it a little bit but it's supposed to cut all kinds of vinyl and paper and stuff whatever you want to whatever kind of designs you want to cut out of out of different colored vinyls and you can heat press them or you can just buy vinyls that you know you peel the back off and stick them and stuff like that um, basically when we get into January my students are going to be probably taking their logos and transferring them into merch and that kind of thing for the first few weeks playing with this cricket but anyway I found out that even with this broken hand, I'm okay kind of to pick at my guitars. And I just made up this little thing um, this evening as I'm waiting for Britt. We're gonna head out to her dad's place just to visit um, some of her brothers and sisters and stuff out there and hang out for a little bit. I don't know if there's gonna be any more video or not, but uh, um, I'll leave you with this thing that I made up. <laughs> Here's Britt. Should I show you? Are you okay? <laughs> Never know where that she could shut down the, the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I just made this up this little this little thing. <laughs>